Hey YouTubers, it's me again. Uh, doing a little product review on this item right here. This is just a 12 to 24 volt 10 amp charge controller. Okay, and it says it's for powering street lights, and that's what this is going to be used in. All right, right now I've got it set up as a 12 volt configuration. All right, and there, there it is. It's on. It's working. As you can see here. See where the solar panel is? The light's on. I don't have solar panels hooked up to it. I'm using the power supply to uh, stand in for your solar panels. The blinking light is telling me that my batteries are pretty much fully charged. And this light here, it'll turn amber or different colors depending on battery usage. Um, I got a small 12 volt, 50 watt little lamp right here. All right, and I want to show you what happens whenever the sun goes down which is what my power supply is going to act as I just turn my power supply off you'll see that the uh, solar panel light went off green lights on steady because now the battery is taking a discharge the amber light that's telling me that my load is on alright so in a way this here uses your solar panels as your photo sensor so when you no longer have sun your light can come on now there there is different functions to this controller that you can set up. It comes with instructions and it gives you different views for how long you want to have your controller left on. Um, has a small dot here on the side. You get you can buy these here that has two LED displays on here. This uses one LED display to do the exact same functions as the one with two of them. You get you can get these in 20, 30, 40 amp. All of this is a PWF. M charge controller and right now I've got this set on to where when the sun goes down this light stays on until the sun comes back up all right and I've got a little small amp meter here and I'm just letting this discharge just a little bit but I'm going to show you what happens let's say the sun comes back up sun's up as you can tell the sun came on source went off and right now I'm pushing almost six amps. It bounces around a little bit. And that's because right now it's just pulsating the batteries. And it'll usually run about steady four amps, maybe a little bit more, depending on the size of my battery bank. If I had these both wired in series, it's probably draw full six amps. But as you can tell, as the batteries are charging, your current goes down. So that's what this is going to be set up as. Um, I ain't going to have meters and stuff on it, of course. It's just going to be a straight, just solar street light setup. And right now, that's just set up in 12 volts. And 24 volts does the exact same thing. All right, and that's the product review on that. It does seem to work like it says it does. Um, I've have ran this 50 watt light on there for almost three hours on this battery. It did run the battery down quite low, and it did charge the battery right back up to 12 volts. Um, I have this power supply turned on high which is about 26 volts that it's putting into that battery and it puts out the 12, uh, the 14.4 volts that it needs. Once this charges up to the 14.4 volts, it just starts trickle charging. And you'll notice that the meter will go down and it'll just bounce every now and then. It's just trickle charging the battery once it's fully charged. And that's my product review so far on this charge controller. Got it off eBay. They were cheap. Ain't much to it. And other than that, Hope you enjoyed the video. You can look at my other reviews here on the side. They'll be listed here, and I'll talk to you guys later.